Linda, thank you very much again for making time for us for this short interview. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself in a couple of words, please? Sure. My name is Linda Drake. I'm a court reporter in the United States. Great. Uh, Linda, what does that mean, a court reporter? A court reporter in the United States works both in court and in private offices. Mm -hmm. um, in our court system, when somebody files a lawsuit, both parties can find out about each other's claims in okay. what's called a deposition. Mm -hmm. So that's what takes place usually in a lawyer's office. And so I will go and it will be the plaintiff and the defendant and their lawyers okay. and me. And they okay. ask each other questions and so I make a record of that. Mm -hmm. And then in court, I work in um, civil proceedings, which are car accident yeah, cases, yeah, yeah. D um, divorces, mm -hmm. and then oh. criminal, <laughs> criminal proceedings with um, trials and pleas and sentencing. Oh, wow. Quite challenging, yes. <laughs> I think. So different so, vocabulary for each one. Yeah. So how do you prepare? What are the main challenges you're uh, sometimes even struggling with? Um, well, it's... it's you have to always be prepared for the whatever happens. So <laughs> the unexpected. There's, there's really, unless you know exactly what you're going into and then you can prepare. So um, I'm currently working in a criminal case um, that involves the death penalty. Oh, gosh. So yeah. four defendants. And so I've gathered a lot of material about death penalty decisions mm -hmm. and the different mm -hmm. names. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of... Um, uh, different things in the United States. I'm sure you've heard about Miranda warnings where yeah. you have the right to remain silent. Yeah. So yeah. you have to know those particular names mm. of those cases and put in your dictionary so that you're not hit. Yeah, sure. But what are the main skills you would recommend to other people to acquire? You, you told me that you were even certified in Georgia. It was yes. quite uh, <laughs> early that, that uh, you were able to, to get a certification. Yes. Um, in 1982, I was certified by taking a test that had um, three different parts. Um, a question and answer section, yeah. a jury charge, and literary. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you have, and it's all. They also have a spelling test and a little okay. test about laws in Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so, I, I would recommend you know practicing. For me, it was practice every day on speed mm -hmm. because I okay. use Dragon. Yeah. Mostly speaking, yeah. I'm a yeah. voice reporter. Mm -hmm. um, so practicing that, a, a good way to do it is to sit down in front of the television and report the news. Okay. You know, yeah. Just sure. Constantly sure. working. Sure. And sure. also, you know, studying legal terminology. Of course. If you're yeah. going to take doctor's depositions, medical terminology. Yeah. 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 What about IT skills? It, isn't that getting more and more important to, to be able to... <laughs> Yes, it is, which is why I think I'm, I'm heading towards retirement. <laughs> <laughs> and that might be what's driving me. Um, the technology has, of course, changed over the years. When I first began, um, I simply recorded my voice. And yeah. when I came home, I typed okay. on a mm -hmm. typewriter mm -hmm. from my voice. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, mm -hmm. came a computer. Yeah. And then in 1997, finally, um, the technology to have... Dragon, the spoken yeah. word transfer yeah. to the computer yeah. Yeah. screen, mm -hmm. and it was um, it was very fragile then. <laughs> yeah. So I've been from Dragon one to Dragon fifteen. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it has changed. <laughs> well, and now of course I always have used cassette tapes. Yeah. And I still use them. Okay. In particular instances, mm -hmm. I you know, I work in a large room, and so I have a big recorder. And I still use those tapes. Somebody asked me the other day, he came in and he picked up my tape and said, is that an 80s mixtape? And I said, no, that's my work. <laughs> but, of course, we've begun to use digital recording. Um, in, in a lot of the courtrooms in my courthouse, they have installed digital. And it's not working very well at the moment, so, which is why I still rely on my cassette tapes. But I also have a small digital recorder. Sure. So I make a recording on my computer, and I have my digital recorder, and I have my tape. So hopefully, <laughs> one of these the should three, work. I'm protecting the record. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Lena, what about the payment system? Because many, many colleagues in Europe, they are not directly paid, but via uh, agencies, you know. Yes. Uh, uh, the what's same. the situation in, in Georgia? The same? The mm -hmm. same. Well, for me, I owned my own firm. 
Okay. Um, for 28 years, so I was in charge of billing yeah. and collecting, mm -hmm. um, and I had a couple of reporters working with me, and so, you know, I, I collected everything and then paid them as, okay. as subcontractors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, over, the, I'm, over 28 years, I've probably had maybe five attorneys that have not ever paid me. One went to prison owing me $3,000. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, I'm... Shame. It's... <laughs> It's what happens sometimes. Um, yeah. so, but now working for the court system, um, I'm paid a daily rate. Okay. And mm -hmm. then whatever uh, criminal transcripts I produce, I'm paid also by the county. Um, but any private transcript, well, civil. So if I'm in, a say, a domestic case, then those attorneys are responsible to pay me. So, so far, I, I bill them and they pay. I see. But, so I haven't had, I did work for um, one agency and um, got paid fairly regularly. So I know a lot of people have trouble yeah, getting yeah, paid yeah. when the attorneys don't pay and then, you know, the cash flow exactly, can exactly. be difficult. Exactly. So obvious, obviously also resilience and stress management are skills <laughs> you need in that business, Patience. right? Patience. Patience. And I think, you know, one of the important things about trying to collect bills is just to be nice and to say, you know. <laughs> Good advice, yes. Um, because there's no, there's no point in getting angry with anybody, and the more upset you get, the more determined they are Definitely. not to pay. I, I recently had one attorney who owed me some money and just simply told me, I don't have the money to pay you. Okay. And I said, but I need to get paid. And so we went back and forth, and finally I had no alternative. I sued him. Okay, sure. Yeah. Which cost me more money uh, to yeah. sue him yeah. and, you know, time off from work to go to the hearing yeah. in which he said, I can't pay you. <laughs> I have no money. money. And so we ended up settling. He paid me a certain amount, which was far less than I wanted. But it was it was better to take the money and just go on with my Definitely. life than to yeah. worry with him yeah. anymore. And yeah. I tried to remain nice throughout. Yeah. I would never... Yeah. Tell him exactly what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last question, uh, Linda. Uh, would you be ready and willing to share your knowledge with uh, our project and, and, sure. and your colleagues all over the world? You, sure. Would you be even uh, ready to, uh, let's say, um, contribute to training materials? Sure, if I can. Thank you. Like I, I said, so I think you overrate my intelligence. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> not no, at all. No, no, not no, at all. On no, the contrary, no. you're so many years and decades in, in the business, so we, we do believe that we will learn a lot from you. And thank okay. you so much you're again welcome. for thank this you. interview. Thank, thank you so, you much, so much, people. Thank you. Thank you very much.